my name is Jackie. You're watching Super Enthused. Today I'm at the Frost Science Museum in Miami, Florida. The Frost Science Museum used to be located in the South Miami area, and a few years ago it was relocated to the downtown Bayfront area. It's connected to the Pam Art Museum on the same property and shares the parking garage, but the two structures are separate. This is my first visit to the new location. I'm so excited. It's a holiday weekend, so it is jam-packed, but hey, that's all part of the fun. So let's go check out some science. One of the special exhibits going on right now is called Creatures of Light, and it features creatures with bioluminescence. This looks really cool, and I'm excited to check it out. Oh, I do. So these are art pieces, but let's go in and check out the real deal. Have you ever held a glowing firefly in your hands on a warm summer evening? A firefly's light seems rare and magical, yet the tree of life is spangled with organisms that blink, glow, flash, and glitter. Welcome to the world of bioluminescence, the generation of light by living things. What a cool entrance to this exhibit. Glowing mushrooms. These bioluminescent mushrooms grow on decaying wood in the forests of eastern North America. In honey mushrooms, the mycelia, root-like branches that run through the wood, glow with an eerie light known as foxfire. Looks like crystals. Those are really cool. A summer's night. It's an early summer evening and you're in a grassy clearing in eastern North America. What you see are bioluminescent fireflies signaling one another in the silent language of light. What is bioluminescence? It's visible light generated by a living organism through a chemical reaction. The light we know best, incandescent light, is associated with heat. Bioluminescence, on the other hand, is cold light. And here's an example of many creatures who exhibit bioluminescence, cold light. And this is firefly patterns. This is a 30 times model of a firefly with its little pattern of blinking lights. This model is 210 times the size of a firefly. This is a tree designed to emulate a tree filled with fireflies using their Morse code to talk to each other and to mate because that's what it's all about for fireflies. Firefly mating signals produce the pulsing light show you are seeing. In firefly trees, many males flash in sync. The whole group flashing together increases all of their chances of mating. Teamwork, bros. Teamwork. Click beetles. These are very common in Miami and people call them cucuyos. They make a little click and there they are. They're glowing lights on top of them. It's two glowing green spots on their shoulders. It looks like eyes, but they're not eyes. And here's a cucuyo. In the summer in Miami, these are our fireflies. We don't get fireflies, we get cucuyos, click beetles. And everyone who grew up in South Florida has tried to grab one in their hands and they click when they're in your hands and it's kind of startling. A mysterious cave. Deep inside a New Zealand cave, hungry glowworms create a brilliant light show. Look inside to see the glowworms. You can duck down in here and get inside the cave to see what the glowworms would look like. Where are they? Very cool. Wow. Ceiling of stars. A stream flows through the Watoma Caves. As visitors paddle, they look up at what seems to be stars in a pitch black night. But they aren't stars. They're bioluminescent glowworms. Wow. Maybe one day we'll get to paddle down there. I have seen bioluminescence in the water before, actually in Washington State. It was awesome. I didn't have a camera with me then, but I really hope to go back. It was out on Vashon Island. It was amazing. A sparkling sea. 
step into a sheltered bay in the Caribbean. Wait around and watch what happens. In these dark waters, millions of creatures will flash, glitter, and shine. Here you can walk over the simulation of water filled with bioluminescent organisms. This is a crowd pleaser. People are loving this, including me. I'm gonna ask for your forgiveness in advance for alternating pronouncing Caribbean and Caribbean. Just go with it. This is called Ball of Fire. The flickering light of this bioluminescent bay represents the glow of Pyrodinium bahamense. Whirling fire creature of the Bahamas. That's a cool name. This dino flagellite rides the waves of the Caribbean Sea and collects in large numbers sheltered coves like Mosquito Bay, Puerto Rico. The scintillions are the particles that are like little lanterns inside the creatures. Fluorescence. This is a display of a female anglerfish and she has her own built in fishing rod that attracts fish so she can eat them. This is a deep sea siphonophore. They're related to jellyfish and they have tentacles with toxic singing cells. It's pretty recently discovered and treacherous. It can grow to 130 feet long, longer than the largest known blue whale. Yuck, I mean, cool. There's a video on a screen in here showing some deep sea exploration. Some more deep sea exploration exhibits. Very, very cool way to start our visit to the museum today, the Creatures of Light exhibit. I loved it. This exhibit looks like it'll be open through April. So definitely come out and pay a visit. And you can find out more at frostscience.org slash light. Keep exploring. The elevators are really cool, but they've also purposely designed the stairwells to have lovely views to encourage people to take the stairs. And you don't have to do much encouraging to get me to take the stairs, because I usually prefer to. The whole building is designed beautifully. This exhibit is called Feathers to the Stars and it starts out with the origins of flight. Flying like a bird. Humans were inspired to fly by birds and flying creatures. Here are skeletons of modern birds, early birds, and dinosaurs. Birds fly using their breast muscles. And when they're going long distances, they use wind currents to help them. This is a model of a feathered dinosaur. Wow. Miami and the pioneers of flight. The history of aviation belongs to dreamers who pushed for the sky, and Miami has played a crucial role. And if you check out my video on the Glenn Curtis Mansion in Miami, I touch a little bit on the history of flight and its connection to Miami and early flight pioneers. I'll link that somewhere in the description box below. There's all sorts of little exhibits people are playing with and having a great time. Here's an exhibit on gravity. The kids are having fun with this one. Space shuttle was humanity's first reusable spacecraft. There were five shuttles. Columbia, Challenger, Discovery, Atlantis, and Endeavor. And they flew over 130 missions. We've made it to the aquarium. I've been waiting for this. This is so cool. There's an exhibit here where people can touch starfish and other sea creatures. Looks like tarpon. Shiny, large, and ancient. Look at these pufferfish. This is a window into the Gulf Stream. Like corals building a reef, mangrove trees create a unique habitat that serves as a barrier shielding our communities from sea level rise. And they also help protect us from hurricanes and storms. And this is an example. 
exhibit about the mangroves. Let's climb out of here. I like the exhibits you can climb into and out of. From the fourth floor of the museum, there's a cool stingray exhibit, and you can also get this amazing view of the port where cruise ships come in and out. Look, you can see the cruise ships out there right now. Look at how huge they are. And this is a beautiful view of the city. There's the Freedom Tower, there's downtown Miami. Really, really beautiful. It's worth it coming up here just for this incredible view. Look at the stingrays. So there's the difference between a crocodile and an alligator. Crocodiles have a long pointed V-shaped snout, their lower teeth are visible with their jaws closed, and they can tolerate salt water. Alligators have that wider rounded U-shaped snout that we see so often in Florida. And this is a really cool Everglades themed aviary and exhibit. The entire fourth floor consists of an aviary and an Everglades themed exhibit that is so immersive and so beautiful. Let's go check it out.
Museum. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this trip to the Frost Science Museum in Miami, Florida. There's just so much to do. So I tried to cover the highlights and the brand new bioluminescent exhibit. Again, thank you for joining me. I'll see you for the next adventure. And until then, you know what to do. Stay enthused and have fun. Bye.